Hey Simleys, it's Deligracy here. How are you today? I hope you're doing very well. I'm just going to be doing a quick USA haul vid, just showing you guys a few things that I bought while I was traveling in the USA. And when I say traveling, keep in mind I was only there for four days. Uh, so it's not really traveling, but two of those days was actually spent getting a hands-on go at the new Sims 4 expansion pack get together coming out in December. So uh, I'll be showing you guys some information about that really, really soon. Uh, but anyways, I did have two days on either side to do a bit of shopping, so I just thought I would show you guys what I got. Also, I'm really jet lagged. I only got home a couple of hours ago and the flight's 15 hours to LA and then another two hours to San Francisco. So from Melbourne, it's a long way and I probably look really tired if I'm gonna like muddle up my words or if I do something weird uh, it's probably because I feel like my room's spinning a little bit. Woo! First up I went to an American supermarket and that's one of the things I most enjoy when I visit another country is to check out what the supermarket or as you guys might call it grocery store looks like. But anyways I bought some American sweet stuff. America is incredible with how much stuff you have and I was pretty shocked to see that you had whipped cheese. Oh, that was nasty. But this I bought for Boy Flickrissy. Boyfriend and Deligrissy put together makes Boy Flickrissy. Got it? Oh, clever. But he loves cereal, so I bought him these Reese's Puffs. iPod Zeke helped me pick them out and he said they're the best. So it's Reese's Peanut Butter with Sweet Crunchy Corn Puffs from Hershey's Cocoa. I also got these Hershey Kisses in a candy cane for Christmas just to put with some of the Christmas gifts. And uh, we don't really have that many Hershey Kisses around Australia. We do kind of in specialized stores, but it's not just at the supermarket. And these ones are mint truffle and I really liked the Christmas packaging. So I thought they were kind of cute to put with gifts. Maybe put uh, on the Christmas tree or something, I don't know. iPod Zeke told me I should get these Butterfinger Bites. I think these are one of his favorites. And, or maybe it was the Milk Duds he said was his favorite, but I kind of want to try them now, but I don't know if I should. I don't know, if you guys want to see a video of me actually trying some of these sweets, let me know, because I will do that. And then I got some Jelly Belly candy canes. I know what Jelly Bellies are. But I've never seen them in candy canes, so I was like, what? When I went to EA, uh, after all the Sims like business was done, they gave us a show bag, which was really exciting. So this stuff I didn't actually purchase myself, but we were given, so I thought you guys would like to see it. So this is just a drawstring bag that you can kind of wear on your back. And inside it, a plum bob headband, of course which is cool, um, but the best part is it lights up. Yay! Uh, so that was pretty fun. I wore this for a lot of the time while I was playing Sims. I pretty much wore it until I couldn't wear it anymore because I'd get a headache from it. So that was that. And then these headphones we were allowed to keep, which is what they gave us to play with. And we also had Sims mouses too. You can purchase these from SteelSeries. Um, but I actually had these headphones once before and they broke. So I'm not sure, I'll try them again. Maybe I had a dodgy pair, but the mouse is really good. I really like the mouse. And um, I forgot to bring my mine home, unfortunately, but I already have one, so that's okay. We also had a name tag, which is pretty cool with this Sims uh, lanyard, lanyard, like Lionel, if you've watched my Sims LP. So that's pretty cool. I feel very Simsy and professional. We got a teeny weeny little badge. Sims 4 get together shirts. They only had them in larges, but still this will be awesome as like a pajama top or something like that. And I actually have an extra one to give away. So I'm gonna do a giveaway at the end of this video. Uh, separate from the Sims, but what I actually got from the EA store was this cutout plum bob to maybe put in my room somewhere, maybe like behind my computer. This was from the EA store, because at EA they actually have a store in the building, and it's like the only EA store that I know of. And um, the guy, when he found out James and myself that we're from Australia, James is another YouTuber if you don't know, he was like, oh, you're Australian, here, have a plum bob. So we're like, woo! So 
was cool. I also bought a Sims 4 cap to add to my little Sims merchandise collection. So yeah, this is just like a cap. I don't know, you can wear it any way you want, I suppose. Um, but yeah, I got this and then I also bought this, the Sims uh, t-shirt, like that. And then on the back it says, you create, you control, you rule. So that's pretty fun and uh, that'll be handy. I got from the EA store a nice EA jacket too. I thought this was really nice. It's just, it, it's like polar fleece lined, so it's quite nice inside and um, I don't know, it's just like a fitted sporty looking jacket. I feel like it's something that my mom would wear, so <laughs> I don't know, but I think my mom has good taste, so I don't mind wearing or getting inspo from her, so that's good. <gasps> okay, I bought a Tamagotchi the other day and I just realized it said bye-bye to me, like it says bye-bye on the screen. That's so sad, it left me. Well, oh well. Uh, I did go to Victoria's Secret and Aurelian from YouTube um, and Twitch. You guys, some of you guys probably know her. She helped me pick out some bras and undies. I won't really show you them because I feel a little bit shy showing them, but, um, well, maybe I'll show you one thing. So I just got plain ones. I got like a black bra, which is nice, pretty plain. Blue one that I'm wearing and <laughs> I also from the EA store almost forgot to show you guys this drink bottle that I bought. Life Simmer and I, last time we were there, Life Simmer, Life Simmer and I got matching drinks and then this time we got matching drinks again. We just must have similar taste. So my sister and I have this inside joke, kind of. Basically when I was in high school, my school got us to go on this overnight hike. So I bought, oh no, not an overnight hike, I think it was a, it was actually a nine day hike. So I bought uh, some really daggy shorts from Kmart that cost me $5. But it's really funny because my sister stole them and still wears them to this very day. Like this is years ago. So she uh, has these really ridiculous baggy shorts. So I decided to actually get her a pair of EA shorts. And these look so comfy. Like they're not meant to be fitted and pretty or whatever. They're just like daggy lazing around the house shorts. So they have a little EA logo on them. And uh, hopefully she doesn't watch this video because I kind of want them to be a bit of a surprise for her. I did go to In-N-Out Burger uh, with uh, Zeke, Jen from Urban Sims, Life Simmer. Ooh, who else came with us? Spring Sims. Aurelian, I think that's it. But yeah, I went to In-N-Out, so I got a hat, and In-N-Out's like a fast food burger place, and it was really yummy. It's like a Mac is a bit better, but it's not very good for you. In duty free at the airport at LA, before I flew back to Melbourne, I got some perfume. Uh, my grandpa uh, has always said that he thinks every girl should smell nice. So uh, he, he believes in perfumes and he's bought my grandmother a lot of nice perfumes over the years. So I thought, you know what? I'm a treat myself and I got a perfume. So I got Untold by Elizabeth Arden. It has kind of a vanilla smell about it, which I really liked, but I also love uh, the bottle because it's like this curved, interesting, unique bottle that I really love. And it's kind of vanilla and floral perhaps. So I really hope that other people like it. Floral, vanilla, and then fruity at the same time. It's a really intense, good smell. But there's actually a darker one from the Untold series. The darker one in the darker bottle, if you look at this one, look at the darker one, because it smells so good. It was a little bit wintry for me. Uh, very spicy, kind of, and almost a bit chocolatey, but it was just like, ugh, it smells so good. I bought some Orbit gum, because I don't believe we have Orbit gum in Australia. And this one is a good, clean feeling. Um, and it's bubble mint, artificially flavored. I like how it has artificially flavored on there because bubble mint could come naturally, couldn't it? Bubble mint, really weird, but kind of cool. My ears pop on the plane, so I thought, oh, I'll just have that um, on the plane to chew, because I like to chew stuff. I also took my camera, so what I did bring back from the US is a ton of Polaroid photos. I really recommend getting one of these Fujifilm cameras. Uh, 
this video isn't sponsored by Fuji Film or anything, but I recommend them because there's something about making memories that are hard copies rather than digital. I don't know what it is, but having these memories in my hand and being able to put them up around my room, I just love that. And these aren't too expensive. They're about 90 Australian dollars, so they're probably cheaper in the US and in Canada, uh, probably in other, maybe part of Asia, they're a bit cheaper as well, but uh, they're really good. They come in cute colors, pastel blue, like baby yellow, uh, a nice red, oh, I got pink. I don't know, I'm not much of a pink girl, but I'm starting to become more and more pink recently. It's kind of creeping me out. Last of all, I went to the Lego store. Oh my goodness, it was so cool. But it was just cool because it has Lego everywhere, really cool Lego packs. And then it has this thing, thing on the back wall where it's like build your own Lego and you select your own pieces that you want to take home and you can build your own little Lego person. So hoping Boy Flickrissy doesn't watch this. I don't think he will. He doesn't really watch my videos ever unless I show them to him. But I got him because he's a fan of Lego some special Christmas Lego wrapping paper to wrap up his gift in. I don't know what I'm getting him yet, but if you have an idea, do comment. Uh, this is Lego salt and pepper shakers. So cool, so funny. I thought that was great. And then my dad is a bit of a fan of Star Wars, so I got him a little, um, what's this called, key ring. <laughs> Yoda keyring, and uh, I thought that was quite cute. Boy, Boy Flickrissy gets a Ninja Turtle. That's awesome. I got my sister a handbag too, just a plain black tote from Banana Republic, or Banana Republic, as some of you guys would say. So yeah, this is the tote. It's just plain black. It's really nice. I actually have this one myself from last time I went to the US, and I just think it's really handy. It also fits a laptop in it and it's also like it's not labeled which I quite like it's really classic anyways to finish up this video I'm going to be doing a giveaway on Instagram so you can follow me at deligracy I want to do the giveaway on Instagram because YouTube has a few more legalities uh, so it's just easier and safer for me to do it that way but anyways what's up for grabs is the Sims 4 get to work or the Sims 4 base game if you don't have the base game. Or you can opt for the Sims 4 bundle, which includes the Spa Day game pack or the Perfect Patio Stuff pack. Uh, and then if you have everything, then you might want to get the Sims 4 Get Together t-shirt that I have. It's a large, uh, which mine's a large too, um, but we can be twinsies. So I'm gonna give that away because I was given two of them and I'd like to share some love. Uh, but anyways, to enter, just use the hashtag in the description, Deligracy Giveaway, and uh, let me know which one you want, which one of these, because there'll be four winners, uh, whether it's any of these or the t-shirt, and uh, also put your email in the description, and I just want you to post a picture of something interesting. I don't know, just brighten up my day. I, I'm interested in what you guys are up to, so just... Let me know something that's going on in your life. It might be funny, it might be amazing, it might be boring, but I don't know, it might be interesting. So anyways, guys, I hope you liked this video. Do let me know in the comments down below uh, if you liked it, if you wanna see more vlogs, and I look really forward to recording you some more videos soon once I'm over my jet lag, because I'm a little bit crazy today, but uh, yeah, anyways, I hope you're having a lovely morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever you are in the world. I will speak to you soon.